Hey Libra, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. I had to switch decks for you guys. Um, you know, we are on a new day here and um, I had a very hard time um, shuffling the other deck when I was, it was like I have to, okay, I'm starting with Libra and let's get moving and the deck would not shuffle. Like, I don't know what was wrong with it. And I felt like I was being told to switch. So I switched both decks just in case. So I've saged new decks and we're going to start again. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Libra. What do we need to know about this Libra reading? It's for anyone with Libra placements. It's for the, uh, it's for anybody really. It's for anyone else who's guided to see the Libra reading as well. This is the first week of August. It could resonate now. It could resonate later, or it can resonate at a total different time if you're guided at a different time. So what do we need to know? Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Libra reading, one more shuffle. What do we need to know the most? All right, let's do it. Libra. What are the messages? The weekly reading for Libra. Oh, by the way, your monthlies just went out as well. What else do we need to know for Libra? So if you didn't catch them yet, we have a weekend reading out there. We have monthlies. Of course, we have dailies. We have all kinds of readings out there for you guys. We've got a challenge of the seven of staves, which is the seven of wands in this deck in reverse as a challenge. Look at this. You're going towards something brand spanking new. All right, what is the most important thing we need to know here for Libra? You're purging something from the past, but you're, oh, and you're having strength to do it too. So you're pulling on your inner strength. You're leaving something behind and you're moving towards something brand spanking new with a lot of really awesome energy. Death card, all new. This is really a nice enter, a nice reading, um, Libra. It just shows that you're not going to sit around in stale old energy. You're causing change and if you're not the one doing it someone else around you is that's way too many can we just get one or two cards at a time for libra please nope <laughs> i don't know here it's doing it again tell me what we need to know for libra please just one or two cards at a time is all we're going to take okay beautiful you could be dealing with a leo if you are or you could have it in your chart because it is the central um, issue here with the strength card. I feel like it's your energy. I honestly do. Um, but if you are dealing with a Leo, it actually looks positive. We've got here Queen of Coins, and sometimes I see her as a Libra for whatever reason. I can't really explain. But we also have um, the Ace of Staffs here. Um, I thought this was the S. That's the Page of Staffs. That's so weird. I saw this as the Ace of Staffs, but you ended up with it anyway. It's right here. It's in reverse. It just means you haven't gotten to it yet, but you're going to because you got this brand new energy coming in. Beautiful. Um, this is so nice. Okay, so here's what I see. I see. Wow, really? Okay, so you're getting enlightened about something and it's causing... Okay, let's just go back a little bit. All right. There's so much... Well, let's go back to the Libra card of the Queen of Swords. This is further back than I wanted to go, but there you are. And see how she's got her back turned? I feel like that's what you're about to do here. You're about to turn your back on something from the past, but look at how you've got your new cup in your hand to head towards the future. And I definitely feel you're doing this. There's something about you seeing something clearly. It could be something that you missed out on, or it could be seeing that there's nothing there for you in the past and that you want to be in the future. And you're going to release something that you've been holding on to really tight because you're seeing it differently now, or you're enlightened about something now. This is wish fulfillment for you to release the five of coins, this disappointment that you've had in the past and head towards six of swords, peace. And look at how he's even holding up this um, flag of, it almost feels like um, this is so successful and victorious that you know now where you want to go and how you want to go get it. And there's sixes. These sixes mean you're out of the fives. And this is wish fulfillment for you. Just to have this clarity and be heading towards the sixes and out of this fives and letting the transformation come in with the death card, the death of the old, the birth of the new. It's everywhere here. It's so And another six, the six of coins. The six of coins is on hold though. I mean, like it's in reverse. I feel like it's almost like you're going to get there. Um, like maybe you need this to come in so that you can have this come in as well. It's such a nice energy, all of it, because it shows you passing the fives, which is such a hard place to be. They're the hardest times really when we're 
you know, grieving, when we're going through losses, when we feel left out in the cold, when we've de been dealing with drama or, you know, sometimes people are taking advantages of, of us or we're fighting with people or we're having, you know, drama around us or sometimes we just have toxic people around us. It's just a difficult or we go through just a toxic time in our life, a very difficult time in our life. Okay, but you're past it all. It's like all these sixes are just showing us that you're coming out of it. If you're a feminine, I feel like you're coming through in this Queen of Coins energy here. I feel like you're going to be heading into this new beginning because the new energy comes in right off the bat. As soon as you leave behind something in the past, like you break free and then you're like, I'm free. This is wish fulfillment. I see it differently now. I needed to release this. As soon as you do that, you're like home free. It's almost like you had to, it took all the strength you had to actually see it clearly. Like it took all the strength you had to see something clearly. And once you did, you were able to transform it. You were able to leave the past behind and move towards this. You know, this could have been something that was blocked from you with the seven of staffs here as a challenge or something you didn't really put a lot of effort into. And now you're ready. Sometimes it just takes a matter of time, right? You still got six of coins in reverse, which I'd rather see in the upright. Ace of wands in reverse means nothing to me it just means it's not here yet but it's coming so for me um i feel like that ace is coming in very quickly there's a, you know whenever i see an ace in reverse or the world in reverse or the wheel of fortune or the fool or any of these new energy kind of re, um anything like that in reverse <clears throat> to me it feels like something there's one last thing you got to do to get to it like what what do we got to do to get this ace in the upright well, I do see here that there's something imbalanced or a financial drain or something. It could just be some kind of imbalance. There's something here that you're still ironing out, balancing out. If you, When you get this balanced out, I feel like that ace is yours. Let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? Libra reading for anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who's guided to see this uh, Libra reading. This reading could resonate now or later or at any other time if you're guided at a different time. What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have? A Libra reading for anyone who's guided. One more shuffle. Libra reading. The Six of Coins is a Libra card for me. So this could just be you getting something ironed out, right? This is a Libra card. We're going to go right to it. Tell me about the Six of Coins reversed. Libra reading. Why is it still reversed here? I think you're just getting things really straightened out. Yeah, judgment. You're just waking up to this, whatever it is. It's like you have some kind of an epiphany coming. Yeah, look, the death card at the bottom. Whatever this is that you're seeing differently now and you're releasing the past, whatever it is you thought you left felt left out on or that you held on to you're seeing it differently now and you're like no i'm a libra i don't need to hang around you're releasing it you're seeing it different this is wish fulfillment you're full speed ahead here six of swords it's like this is your wake up call and this is going to help you get this balance in so whatever this is that's happening that's causing you to move forward leave the past behind transfer your life go towards all this happiness and joy and have the strength to release the past and head into the new Whatever this awakening is or this renewal is, it's going to help you get this balance back on track. If this is your energy. I feel like it's coming. It's coming along with the transformation. It's just happening, though. So that's why we still see the Six of Pentacles reverse. You're working on it. This is something you're right, like right now in the midst of. All right, let's look at the Six of Cups reverse. It's very cool. Tell me about that Six of Cups. I mean, it's not reversed. It's in the upright, but it's just different than most decks. Tell me about that Six of Cups. What is it we need to know? Yeah. So whatever kept you in this funk, this is like drained, sad, funky energy, Ten of Cups. You're going for all new. This is Page of Cups energy, a Page of Staffs energy, Ace of Wands energy, the Sun. This is all new, all new. It's beautiful. It's just that you're getting yourself out of whatever whatever it was. It was from the past that kept you in the funk. Something from the past kept you in that five of pentacles energy. Something from the past made you go within. Something from the past you were holding on to that was disappointing. I see it over and over again here. You're done with this. It's like you're graduating to a whole new, new level. No more five of cups. No, no more five of swords. These fives are leaving you. This is excellent. 
this is all happening because you're overcoming something. Tell me about the seven of swords or seven of staves here, seven of wands as a challenge here. Yeah, it's about that five of cups came right back out. This was just sitting at the bottom and you still have that five of swords at the bottom in reverse. Something here, you're overcoming something. Now, there could be information coming out, truth coming out about something from the past that's going to relieve you from all this. Like, this could be information coming in. Tell me about the page of stabs. This could be the thing that's causing you all this joy and happiness. Tell me about the stabs. So something that was really painful for you could be getting balanced out somehow. But it could just be you waking up and going, uh-uh, I'm not going to live in this anymore. Tell me about page of stabs here, please. Libra reading. Page of stabs is just like the page of wands. Three of cups reverse. This could have been you dealing with a lot of gossipy people, troublemakers. There could be information coming in about a group of people that you were dealing with who put you, who did this to you. That you could have even dealt with some family drama that you're putting behind you now. Um, this could be a third party situation with the three of cups, something that was very stressful. I feel like something is being put to rest, whatever it was. You could have had like, you know, um, family squabbles going on, a work squabble going on. It could be anything really, but it could have been, like I said, for some of you, you could have dealt with something, a third party interference of some kind. Um, doesn't always have to be romantic when we hear third party. It could be like trouble with an in-law, trouble with a friend, trouble at work, you know. But whatever it is, it's all going away now. There's something getting ironed out here or you're getting information that you're going to really like or you're getting, um, or you're moving forward. You're just like, screw that, I'm not dealing with it anymore. Tell me about death here because the death is the transformation of it that's happening here. Yeah, Eight of Cups Reverse, where you couldn't release it before. Remember, you were stuck in it or you wouldn't release it before until you got enlightened and you got all this good news, right? Or you're getting information that's really good news that's going to transform it. Now, it, now released from it. Now forward movement, the Knight of uh, Wands. And for some of you, it's because information is coming out. Um, tell me about the Strength card. What about the Strength card here? Center of the Libra reading. Why Strength here? Like I said, whoa, that's way too many. Just one or two. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Leo. You got a le lot of Leo energy. Tell me about the strength card. Or you could have it in your chart because they are both in the upright as well. So they look positive. Tell me about the strength card. What do we need to know? Libra reading. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so you could have been dealing with a financial situation that you were stuck in or even a family situation that you were stuck in. Give me more information on the Strength card with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. What is it we need to know about this for Libra? What does Libra need to know about this? The Temperance reversed. Something about timing? Tell me more about Temperance reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed, and Strength you might have needed to, it might have took all the strength you had to get through this. King of Swords reversed. So we don't, we have like a lot of reversals here. What is this all going on? So you had to deal with lack of information, something that wouldn't close out because it had to do with something divine. There was some kind of divine timing involved. And it had to do with the Ten of Pentacles. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles reversed. What is that here for Libra? What is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here? You didn't have some kind of clarity on this either. Seven of Pentacles. This has been a long time coming. Whatever this is that's going on, it could be a financial, something financial that's been a very long time coming and you had to wait it out for whatever reason. Boy, did it take all the strength you had to get through this. Why King of Swords reversed with Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Why, why did we have to wait for this for so long? because of, you were the wounded warrior nine of wands so these people you were under some kind of um were you under attack or something here yeah you were dealing with people people they were not successful whatever they were doing they were trying to take something from you or block something for you there's something about and you were just like the sacrificial lamb you had to hang out and wait and it took all the strength you had to get through this. Why were you stuck in this? It could have been karmic. Tell me about the sun. What about the sun?
page of wands excellent so you're getting hugely exciting news is coming in for you i feel good news coming in good news coming in this is great all right so there's an enlightenment coming in tell me about um queen of coins Nope, that's way too many. Could we just get one card on Queen of Coins, please? One card or two? Two of Wands reversed and the Eight of Pentacles. This tells me that something was blocked in your finances. There was something. I do. I feel like these people were blocking something from you. Um, but you're going to get, you're getting some kind of news about this. You've got it twice here that you're getting some kind of news. You're going to see things clearly. There could even be some kind of an apology that comes in. Um, there could be a, a decision that's being made financially after you've waited all this time. There could be something like that. Who are these people? I need to know. Who is the Three of Cups reversed? What is going on with the Three of Cups reversed here? Libra reading. What do we need to know? The Hanged Man in the Upright now. Enlightened about Lovers Reversed. So this is enlightened about a partnership or something enlightened about a partnership this could be somebody who brought in a third party tell me give me one more on the three of cups reversed this doesn't have to be love though i see cards that are saying this could also be work um give me one card on the lovers reversed with what was it okay oh the three of cups reversed All right, absolutely. So this is something that you feel you missed out on because of the Three of Cups. Okay, so you're focused on the Three of Cups, but there's something else. So what I feel is, what I really feel is that you're uh, being enlightened, that you're missing out on something great because you're so focused on what you've been stuck in. Okay, so what you've been stuck in could have been someone who put you in a third party or someone who chose someone else or someone who hurt you. Um, or, you know, even if it's a business partner or something, but it really feels, um, I feel like it, it really feels romantic to me, but whatever it is, it's like, um, you really realize like, I'm not going to put any e effort into that anymore because I'm missing out on my new opportunities that have been blocked by me still focused on this other person who I need to turn my back on, the person who put me in a third party. Like, there's no success with the third with the third party. You know, so what I really see is you getting enlightened about this. And you take, it's like you finally are like, I'm done with this. And you leave it because there's no happiness there. And you head towards the new. I feel like you're heading towards new. This thing it feels very third party related has kept you in limbo for far too long like you became like almost like enslaved to this thing this i don't know what exactly it was but i mean i it could have been you know it could have been your husband or your wife or your because we do have the ten of pentacles involved there for some of you it could have been a financial situation i definitely do see that but for most of you i feel like this was an imbalance in a relationship and the reason it was imbalanced is because there was more than two people involved let me look at the ace of staff and it's like you finally just realized that you've been missing out on all this new beautiful opportunities that you could have in your life Tell me about the Ace of Stabs reversed. Libra reading. Why is Ace of Stabs reversed here? Libra reading. And this is like a new opportunity that wants to come in for you. Libra reading. Okay, well, there we go. King of Wands reversed and King of Queen of Cups in the upright. So I do feel, are you leaving behind a Leo? Are you, is this a Leo who put you, it would be a Leo or a Sagittarius. I feel Leo because of the sun and the strength and the king of wands here. I feel like, um, I feel like you waited for this person for a long time and it never came through and you're realizing it, that your new opportunities aren't going to lie with this person or you're going to get information. Give me this sun and the, um, 
Page of Wands. What do we need to know about that? Sun and Page of Wands. Hmm. I could swear something turned over. Let me just look at it slowly. It must have turned all the way over. Okay. Tell me about the Sun and the Page of Wands. What's most important here? Well, look at that. The decision to leave the drama behind. Five of Wands reversed, Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're deciding to leave this behind. And for some of you, it's a Leo you're leaving behind. Uh, there's a lot of Leo. For some of you, Leo could be um, your energy as well. You could have a lot of Leo in your chart or something here. But whatever it is, you're leaving it behind because it's kept you stuck for so long. And you've just, it's like you, I don't know where your enlightenment comes from or your epiphany comes in. And all of a sudden, that clarity is like what you wanted. I needed this clarity to get me out of the funk I've been in and put me on the path to this peace and this beautiful, it's like here it is. This epiphany, this enlightenment is going to put you back in balance. I don't know if it's actual physical information coming in for you or if it's just all of a sudden it's like you see it clearly and you're like, you know what? I could stay here forever like this and I could remain in the fives or I could move forward and get into these really nice sixes that come in after because the fives are so difficult and you have multiple fives here. You have five of swords, five of wands, five of cups. Uh, five of pentacles I mean uh, five of cups five of wands and I think you had the five of swords too I just don't know where it went but whatever this is that's been going on around you it's really um, kept you in these fives this is a very difficult place to be so the sixes is relieving you from the fives it's like you get you graduate to them though by waking up and having this and like I said, for some of you, it really physically could be information that comes in that frees you from this. But please do let me know, Libra. I got to move on to the next sign. But I'd love to hear from you guys. You know, Libra, I love hearing from Libras always. Um, let me know. What's, is this physical information you're getting that's getting you out of whatever this is you felt stuck in from the past? Or is this... Um, just like you've woken up and went I'm not staying around here anymore I've got other things to do like are you making changes in your life that are positive forward movement changes after a time when you went through a difficult time all right adventure yeah that's the, it's the hermit again look so here it is right here when you discovered you know that's the hermit and that's the hermit right there this is when you woke up and said I'm not going to stay here anymore I'm moving forward all right and the courage card again Look at this, the strength card. You're getting repeats even in your tiny little card. And it's a commute. See, some of you will get communication that's going to make you feel better. And relaxation, it takes you right to peace. This information is going to take you right to peace. I can't wait to find out from you guys. Are you getting some kind of communication that changes this situation for you? I'd love to hear that, that brings you out of difficult times and towards this peace. I'd love to hear from you guys. Good luck with this guys. You got a new beginning just trying to come in here for you like it's coming in here any minute. I can see it and you're going to make big decisions in your life. For some of you, um, you know, maybe you're not, you're going to come, maybe you're going to have some kind of a truce with a, a Leo, you know, like you guys will talk and that's going to be good that you talked it out and you might not know them as a leo but they could have a strong leo placement or it's happening right now in leo season if it's about love it could have to do with this lion's gate portal that's happening we're going to talk about that at another time i talked about it in the monthly readings a bit so you might want to check that out um to see if i spoke about it in your your reading at all but, you know, it's a time where it's make or break. Um, really good relationships are going to take things to a whole new level. Really bad relationships are going to go their separate ways so that they can clear the space for their divine partner to come in. And that's happening like right here and now. It has to do with the Lionsgate portal. If you have some time, I highly recommend you look it up if you're hoping to come into union with a divine partner. Okay, guys, um, I'll try to get another. Re I'll get a reading out to you. Um, like maybe next week about the Lionsgate portal right before it goes into fullness. It'll be at full, it's full power will be on 8-8. So I always do a Lionsgate portal reading for you guys on 8-8 if I have time and I will make time. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Have a great week. Don't forget your monthlies came out yesterday, your weekend readings out there. There's lots of other readings. Please enjoy. Thanks so much. Bye.